Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. Let's continue playing as the United States in Old World Blues with the Enclave Reborn mod. Right now I'm taking a quick look and seeing if I can replace anything with dual purpose guns on my capital ships, but I don't have enough XP, which is totally okay. So, uh, right now, uh, we are at war with Kaiser's Legion, and I'm about to make a giant push into the enemy's lands. And right now... Before I do that, though, I'm taking a quick look to see if there's any focuses that I might have missed. Um, no, it doesn't really look like I missed any. I just want to double check because I don't mind just letting, letting my political power just rack up as much as possible because we've got all sorts of decisions we can still do and have a great time. So, uh, yeah. There weren't too many comments to talk about, but let's go ahead and try to push the enemy away from Hoover Dam. See what happens. If something good happens, maybe, maybe not. I think we kind of cart, cart? We kind of caught Kaisar with his pants down, and uh, we're going to have a good time with him. That sounds really weird to say, but uh, yeah, we're just going to just push and cut off Kaisar's men from Hoover Dam, and basically encircle all these divisions, or at least as many as I possibly can, and yeah, have a good time doing so. So I'll do that. I did remember to move my close air support bombers. They're moving to St. George over here. Awesome. And they're currently working in North Vegas, which is really, really cool. And I guess we have a seaplane destroyer. I've yet to see a single uh, AI faction actually use those, but whatever. Uh, obviously, we got a lot of... Oh, design lacks some modules. Well, I can't even use it, so all right, whatever. Um... Super Heavy Destroyers. I'll take another one, because why not? Who cares? I'm almost... We're almost done with this playthrough anyway, so... Um, just... Yeah, I know I disappointed some people about... Oh, I actually took Hoover Dam. Nice. That I disappointed some people in regards to... Um... Just the decisions I took in this path for not committing atrocities, or, um... Extra flavorful events against Kaisar's Legion early on, and stuff like that. But... I will play as the Enclave again, specifically the Granite Path, but I will do pretty much exactly the opposite of what I did now. I'll probably go with Segregation. Um, let's see, I'll probably, I will have to go with Enclave Reborn, I will go with the New Order, extend Presidential Powers, we'll do Firmus Granite next time, just to try out different things, and every time you play this mod, it's always a little bit different, which is always a whole lot of fun. So, ooh, actually... You guys not have orders? Hold on. Oh, you might have individual orders. Because I have all 50 divisions down here. Cool, you guys do this. I'm going to actually tell... Where are you guys at? Oh, you're still in Baja. Oh, that's not good. I need to send you up north because you're good as a defensive unit. Defensive army, I suppose. But I still have my militia up here. Um, send them this way to guard at Hoover Dam, actually. Supply will probably suck a lot, but that's alright. So... Yeah, so I will play as this faction again, and there's so much support for me to stay in Old World Blue, so I'm not really too concerned about it too much, I'll put it like that, so, cool. And Militia Units? I've never used these guys. I don't think they're that great. The combat width isn't bad. They got a lot of defense, actually. That's really good. No support companies. Uh, get some Recon on there, maybe. Get some sh oh, get that 50 defense. Yeah, baby. Uh, let's see, 47 at defense for infantry versus 47, 11.1 breakthrough. This is infantry has a little bit better breakthrough. Soft attack is about the same. Hard attack is the same. Recon is the same. They get... Actually, militia is better for suppression. Organization, infantry has a little bit better. HP-wise, infantry is a little bit better. Piercing is the same. Just slightly less weight for the militia units. Uh, infantry costs more to produce, and the militia use slightly less infantry equipment. Actually, militias aren't bad. Those actually aren't bad at all. I'm going to maybe make this 12 combat width, just to make it a little bit stronger. Because this is going to defend, but the defense on my infantry is not bad. But for militia, that's pretty good. I'm surprised I haven't used it yet. Ooh. Maybe that's why. Your strength is very, very low. Oh, goodness gracious. HP, organization is pretty good, defense is okay, I mean we do have some power armor up here defending as well, so. Overall, I don't think we'll suffer too many losses, but you never know. Alright, so we got, we've surrounded all these guys. I want the 
I want Kazar's Legion to panic a little bit, just because it's always fun to have your enemies panic. And G. Wallace falls ill, very nice, very, very nice. And we have precise targeting for explosive support, which I will use in the next campaign of whatever I choose. I haven't chosen yet what I have to do. I still have to finish my paper first, but I will choose someone fun. Oh, actually, this is it ahead of time. All infantry gets more soft attack. Double soft attack? Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, please. Yeah, just let them attack us. Have a lot of fun with us. They won't... They probably won't be able to break us, which will be good. And right now, I'm just gonna let Kaisar's Legion panic a whole lot. So... Before I forget, I do want to add or get a new commander for these guys. William Moore, level 3. Very nice. Pretty... Balance all sets. FEV sizzles. As Dr. Gannon's urging, the United States pursued a costly vaccination program. This paid off when the Legion tried to use FEV against us, promising to bring the ghosts of the past to the knees with no effect. But it's good to know we can add attempted genocide to the charges against Kaiser at the War Times Tribunal. Nice, we get stability and they lose some stability in the liberation of Hoover Dam. This is Enclave Radio bringing you the latest news from the front. Our bows in the black or in black have driven the legion from Hoover Dam, aided by survivors from Navarro who hid in the Mojave, and our flames are burning Praetorians out of their nests even as we speak. An American flag has been draped over the side of the dam as soon as its power will serve you, dear listeners. And a special thanks to the courier that who rallied local partisans to our aid. I don't know why I spoke like that, but whatever. This is not how we saw New Vegas ending. So be it. Venas. Cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna let these guys have a, l a lot of fun times with us. So far, the casualties aren't super high. We've lost 151 guys. But they've taken about 8,000 casualties, which is awesome. Let's see. You guys are up here. You're actually just kind of defending the north, just in case things might go south. Right now, the faction is the Enclave. Children of the Gate. Oh, actually, Iris is in our faction, too. Hope the Iris don't commit anything stupid here. Don't go to war with the Mormons up here. Please do not. Kaisar's Legion is doing okay. So I do have a backup army just in case. I could try to push. But how's the air support doing, actually? 20? That's a lot of damage. I'm not gonna lie. 25 damage. God dang. Ooh, ah, that's, that's spicy. Mmm, love it. I love the Republic. I love democracy. But I really love gunships. I love them so much, I produce so many of them. It's so glorious. Just gun those enemies down for me. Alright, we've spent enough time here. Let us go ahead and commit peaceful war crimes. Alright, we can't exactly beat Sloan off. Uh, Sloan up. Um, yeah. Anyways, yeah. You heard nothing. Uh, I'm a little tired, not gonna lie. Yes, I do have some spare soldiers up here. And we can't win every battle. They could probably pierce us a little bit, maybe. But, I don't know. Not too concerned about it. Nice, more power armor. Uh... Very over here. You guys train as well. Did you guys... Oh, you already made it up here. Uh, Trishan, just from exercising. Cool. Awesome. Oh, this... Oh, look at that. That's like... At least 30 divisions were there. Kaisar. You gotta ask me. Varus, what'd you do to my legions? Nice. Now, this is gonna kill the supply here. But I'm gonna attempt a breakout. Casualties. They just lost... 28,000 men. Or 28,000 28, manpower in that one attack. Just delicious. Beautiful. Mmm. Love it. Also, we are out of supplies by a lot, by huge margin, so I need to really fix that. Um, Ranger Citadel, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, do that. That looks pretty good. Well, whatever. I mean, these places will all get built up eventually, so... No problems, no problems, no worries, no worries. Let's see, there's a lot of Brotherhood lands around here. I'll definitely do that. Cool. Anything else we can do? I want to add some more societies to our Commonwealth. Now, they have 52 divisions over here. This might be a problem. Do that, do that, and do that as well. 
Helios 1, good morning from Enclave Radio, bringing you news, news from Helios 1. As the sun rises over the pre-war solar plant, reflecting off the solar panels, one can see how much progress the present has brought. Gone are the Brotherhood Knights, stripping it for parts, or the NCR's engineers stumbling in the dark. Enclave scientists work proudly to restore the power to the wastes, and the sun rises over a new day for America. Great, I can actually use that stuff quite a bit. They just attacked, let's see if we can do an attack back. Uh, we will need some more air support and better springs and down here to cover areas. Uh, radar, we have an immense amount of territory that our radar covers. Uh, let's see, Hopeville rejoins us. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, oh, we've already pushed in, that's awesome. Just push in for now, guys. Thomas Rimmy Rim, doing a great job. Mr. Gutsy, screw it, why not? We won't be able to win every battle. We're going to win enough battles so that we can actually build up supply and have a really great time as we're kicking Kaisar's booty. Oh, they, they can't do anything. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Oh. What's going on? I don't even know what's going on. They've lost another 15,000 soldiers since we've just started attacking from Hoover Dam. God, I love power armor so much. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Bloody Springs. God, the Enclave is just so much fun to play as. It's ridiculously fun. So if you've never played the Enclave, I highly recommend it. Hmm, I am... I really don't know what I'm going to play as next, though. I'm, I have kind of abandoned the idea of me immediately going back to an earlier save. Just because... Every time you start up the game, it's always a little bit different. Especially in Old World Blues. So, I think I'll probably just start... When I play the Enclave again, and going down the Presidential Dictatorship path, I'll probably end up doing uh, just... A raw campaign from there. Just see if I change anything, make anything a little bit different. But at the current moment, I think we're doing a great job. Let's see, level 5. This commander is level 5, but has a lot more stats. What I'm going to do is this. Place everyone under him. And then I'm going to make this into... Actually, that was probably a bad idea. I just made someone... Or took, took away someone else's job. So, actually... Give me you two. You're coming over under him again. Because when we split up down here, I'm going to need an army to focus on the south, while the rest of the army focus up, focuses up on the east and north. So that will be good. Whispers of Hope. I've read this so many times. Uh, we don't really need manpower. I think 100,000 manpower. We actually have over 2.3 million people under our... Um, I don't want to say control, but within our country that are relatively prospering. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. Delta becomes a federal commonwealth. Sure. Recruitment drive. Uh, we could actually our war support is doing pretty darn well. Yes, yes, we had a little bit of a crackdown earlier, but no one remembers that. Not too much. Oh, we can actually do that. Very nice. Killing off all the electricity within. Ooh. Within the country. That's okay. We didn't need it. We can always build more electricity. Oh, look at this. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah. Oh, and Siege Orange. Nice. Go ahead and take these guys out, guys. Joshua, do you have anything for us? No, Mr. Graham? No, no, no. Yeah, at this point, they can't compete. I'm going to start telling this army to get down here, just so that they're ready to go and defend, defeat the South. When needed. We can still invite the Sorrows, but I'm not really interested in them right now. Ah, uh, political power. Almost four political power a day. I love it. Um... Ooh, what is this? Sponsor a follower's exp expedition to the rapids. Oh, ooh, yeah, do that, but what? we'll puppet them after they don't border the Kaisar's land. Let's get the Sorrows next. It's just brutal what we're doing to the Kaisar's Legion. I mean, holy crap, 103, 4,000 men have died. Jesus. Or at least our casualties. Someone got wounded, so be it. Oh, this is just brutal. Just absolutely brutal. Ah, uh, small little encirclement. Small, small, small. Very nice. Just, yeah, I know Kaisar's Legion is usually pretty difficult, especially if you're not really prepared, or he's not pre but a bit. But if Kaisar's Legion is not prepared to fight you, it's not extremely difficult if you know what you're doing, especially with power armor. Power armor just makes the game so one-sided almost at times if you can if you can't pierce your enemy's power armor it's just gg at least that's what it feels like it's just it's just over good god i need to play some more fallout in my life oh 
Fallout and Hearts of Iron 4. What it could be a better match in heaven? Oh. God, you gotta love coffee too. Cool. Um, Tar Walkers rejoin society. Sure. Very nice. Just, I don't even have to do anything. We're just ripping them apart to shreds. Ah. Oh. oh, the silos. The signals were tracked to missile silos that survived the Great War with bombs ready to go off. Our engineers safely deactivated the nukes, but we need to decide what to do with them. Some scientists have suggested mothballing the nukes and using the plutonium for peaceful means, but nuclear missiles could give us a powerful tool to finish liberating the reunited states. However, we'll have to find the launch codes for the nukes, which records on the base suggest were stored at a military base in Northern California. Oh. Which is okay with me. We will not trade glory for savagery. Dismantle the nuclear weapons. Oh, oh, so that's what those codes at Navarro were for. Um, so, I'm actually writing this down right now for the silos incident for our next playthrough. That right now, I will not use nukes, but in the, when I play the Enclave Reborn, Reformers Path, and Firmus Granite, I will definitely nuke the hell out of anybody I want to. So, we're not going to trade nukes for glory right now, because right now, we really don't need them. I mean, we've lost 1.6 thousand to Kaisar's 137,000. Just bonkers. Oh, does anyone have upgrades? No? Cool, I mean, we've got so many military factories, it doesn't even matter since we're kind of out of supplies, to be honest with you. Oh, we need to maybe make some plasma weaponry. That looks pretty good. Uh, ships, who cares? Doesn't matter at all. Gunderson. Well, if we're going to win anyways, we might as well throw our navy in a slight suicide attempt to beat the enemy's navies. So, we have four ships, I guess four fleets, task forces. Ooh, and another good set too here. Let's put them on here. That's very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Do that. Do that. And then we're going to start snaking our way through the rivers. Did I put it on there? Oh, I did. It's so hard to see, though, if we, if we did or not. Ooh, see, that's exactly what we need to do this for. Uh, I don't think they can get over there. Uh, how far does this snake get around? I think that's still yellow. Yeah, there is a slight yellow hue around it, so that's good. Alright, my coffee cup is in the way of me actually looking at stuff. And this is why I needed you guys. Go ahead and hold. We must take two sons and deliver peace and freedom to Kaiser Legion. Kaiser's Legion, whether he likes it or not. So, cool. Mount militia units are actually pretty good. What happens if we upgrade the rebel militia even further? Like if it's just all militia? You can just put so many boys in here. Uh, this division can slap can fit so many boys. Look at that. Defense is so good. So good. Supply use is so low. Enclave Auxiliaries, supply use is 0.3, it's lower because they're using logistic companies, but even infantry, having 0.5 more combat width, has less defense than the Rebel Militia. What about the Breakthrough? The Breakthrough is even better for Militia, and they don't even have all the, su all the support. Soft Attack is 438, 418. The Militia, oh, why am I not using Militia? Because they have worse organization, technically. The Recon is 17. The Enclave has... Oh my goodness, why am I not using these guys more often? I am a dunderhead. That's half the supply, or a little bit less the supply use of the infantry. Ooh, flamers. More soft attack. Uh, definitely put that on there. And signal companies. Ooh, explosive support. Ooh. Heart attack. Well, we don't really need heart attack. Signal companies gives you more HP, which could be pretty useful. Does lower our organization if we add something else onto here, but explosive support sounds like fun. Because it gives you just a flat more... Ooh, initiative, though. Ooh. Ah, screw that. Do that. I've got enough of everything, so... It really doesn't matter at all. God, I didn't realize that the Rebel Militia were actually... That good. Yeah, get Delta... Under us. Cool. Oh, yeah. And you guys go right on ahead. No worries. Uh, just brutal. We've killed almost 170,000. Almost that many. Uh, you guys seem to have stopped. Oh, you might have actually reached your destination so far. Well, I'll let you guys plan and attack. Have a good time with each other. We definitely need more power armor. But we need a lot more supplies. 
So my plan is, I'm not really sure what my plan is in terms of uh, taking the Legion's land. Because last time when I played the NCR, we had the Phoenix Rebellion, which kind of threw me off a little bit. So I don't want that to happen again. But if it does, it does. I might just liberate the land since I am trying to be more democratic, supposedly, in this playthrough anyways. So, that is definitely a possibility for me. Uh, anything up here? Recruitment drive, sponsor war movie, we'll do that. Mr. Gutsy, very nice. Oh, they're actually trying to attack us. Interesting. Do we have any more power grids I can abuse my electricity for? Please say thank you. Yes and thank you. You're welcome. Ah, Americans all. Let's see. Oh, baby. Ah, uh, nothing like Washington to power your country. Nice. Very nice. Oh, I missed that one. Cool. Awesome stuff, guys. Just really awesome. The Enclave is just so much fun to play as. Let's see, Big Brain. We're, uh, they're still attacking us. They actually might have won in a few places. That's fine. Actually, you know what? Go right ahead and reorganize yourselves. Because that actually might be better... You guys decided to abandon orders. All right. Let Kaiser attack us for a little bit. They, they're probably pissed that we took a lot of their land, but no one cares about Kaiser. I'm sorry, but not really. Yeah, not really sorry about that at all. Oh, look at that. That's not good because we're trying to reorganize. Wait a second. Hold on here. Where are all the... Um... Divi... Oh, hello there. Oh, this must be the extra army that I try to add in that kind of abandoned the line to a degree just because they weren't actually up here yet. So that makes sense why there's no one on this part of the line. Makes sense. If they want to try to attack us back again, you know, I mean, 184,000 casualties with a l very limited amount of manpower now. At one point, they had about, I think, 300,000 divisions. So I'm feeling pretty good about this, not going to lie. Uh, oh yeah, you got you guys in the south. Just, just kill them off. I mean, just we're draining the APCs in the medium robot divisions. Just beautiful. Mmm, I just love it. All right, any more divisions we can throw on these bad boys? Sure, why not? Oh, one thing I do want to make sure I remember to add on just in case, because Kaiser might not have built a lot of these planes here. Oh yeah, give me some more metal. Do that. Um, what do I throw you guys? I might need an extra guy here, so do that. Give me another boo-boo. Give me William Randall, who is a cavalry leader, even though I don't think there's a lot of cavalry in this mod. I could be wrong. I know there's an event talking about uh, breeding horses for less supply consumption. But other than that, I don't know. It's cool. Let's make a lot of motorcycles that I will never use, and I could probably give those to the Brotherhood. Or what's left of the Brotherhood. Ooh. Oh, wait, we have a lot more... Ooh, what's happened in the naval area? Have we... Has something happened? Seaplane thingamabob. Give me some hangar space. And maybe a little bit of deck armor. Hangar space. Hangar space. Uh, I... Anti-air. I almost said anti-vax. I'm not sure why, but anti-air. God. Meh. Whatever. I don't need that. Didn't need that. Anyways. This is a capital ship. I got confused. Yeah, it is a capital ship. These stupid insignias screwed me up. This is still a capital ship. This is a not capital ship. Nice. Go ahead and go to Gunderson. Ranch. Uh, just like the Roman Empire, the the Navy wasn't a super important part of its military capabilities. At least for the most part. I know the Roman Navy had have had its uses, but... Ooh, the Midwestern Brotherhood aids a legion. <gasps> Dreadful news, perhaps due to the threat posed by the powerful and fearsome Chicago Enclave. Ooh, the Midwestern Brotherhood has dispatched aid to Kaiser. These paladins will be willing to fight and die for the legion to stop the reunited states from linking up with their boys in Chicago, who we only assume are also reformers. The Midwestern Brotherhood has sent technology and men to aid legion against you. Jucks. Well, we'll fight them someday. Not today. Not tomorrow. But someday. All right, our... Are our guys ready to go? They look pretty good. 
The guys in the south are pretty good as well. Alright then. Ave true to Kaiser. Very nice. Very, very nice. Ooh, tar walker, sure, sure. The eighties don't like us, I know that. Power grid. Yeah, bridge point. Bridgey point. Bridgey point. Alright. Alright. It feels like I come back here all the time and I constantly have to re-click on stuff. Flagstaff liberated. Vertibird swept overhead as Enclave soldiers trample the Legion's banners. The city's slaves wait to learn whether they found freedom or a new master, but the president can be brought, proud to know that for the first time in 200 years, the Stars and Stripes flies over Arizona. More stability and F da Enclave. What type of picture is this? What the heck? Very nice. Very, very nice. Regardless. No one can beat the Enclave. Not even the Midwestern chapter of the Brotherhood. Ah, oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Might as well send you boys in here as well and help ruin the supply, right? Autonomous industrial machinery. Oh, oh more efficiency gain. Nice. I love that. Purification state. Yeah, I know I'm letting time go on. Doesn't really matter. Research means almost nothing to us at this point. Who's actually under us? So, we've got a lot of countries. We don't have the Rapids yet. We obviously have the American Brotherhood, which were the Brotherhood Liberals. Not much else, actually. Um, Sorrows becomes our puppet. That sounds fun to me. Let's do that. As Kaiser is getting walloped, walloped, and walloped. We're approaching a quarter of a million casualties for Kaiser. He just can't... But he's out of manpower. I mean, this is just glorious. That he's out of manpower. He can't do a single thing to us. Even though I could probably use a little bit more power armor myself. Uh, movement bonus on land. Nah, we don't need that. Ooh, Horus, Horus Banks. You have nothing for us. He's level 4, though. Good to know. If you're down here, just go right on ahead. And the Rapids has been guaranteed by us. Oh, this pulled single division. Eliminated. Oh, look at this. This is disgusting. This is border gore. Just disgusting. Go ahead and finish this area off, guys. They didn't need to live anyways. Oh, we're actually pushing this way too. Nice. Just... Oh, almost a quarter million. Oh, we're pushing up this way. Oh, just... Such brutality. The families of Vegas. New Vegas is one of the richest cities in the West, but it's also under the influence of some of the power most powerful families. With their economic growth, they've begun to spread their influence beyond New Vegas, and we need to decide how to handle these people. Hmm... I want to get High Chapel's a puppet. Nice. Grant has always considered himself a family man. Sounds pretty good. Sergeant Dornan leads the police to break the families. The families faced with the threat of the law go legit. Because you, I can do this because I completed the judicial branch. Get more political power and stability and excess legitimacy converts to stability that I don't need. The families faced with the threat of the law go legit. Let's go with legit just because I might not be able to do that next time. Oh look, a small little encirclement. Uh, just come to, yeah, Planta Grupo. Planta Grupo. So, yeah, I have been watching the subreddit for this mod pretty much every single day. Like, I just want to see how more this mod is developing, and the next update will be more focused on the Mexican factions, which sound really cool. Something like with more Aztec countries or ideology or something like that. That sounds really fun. But, yeah, I'm watching this mod like a hawk now. But that's not the only mod I've been watching lately. I have been watching um, the Equestria War mod because I think they just had an update about Sutherland or something, 1.6, that is like kind of inspired by the Confederacy. Ooh, actually, you guys need to come back up north. So I've been watching that mod very closely as well just because I know it's one of the most well-developed and community-loved, passionate mod teams. Yeah, I don't know. A bunch of adjectives there. But it just there's so much passion for some of these mods in Hoyport. It's just ridiculous. It just... Oh, I love it. I love the passion that the people put into this. So, if, I doubt any mod developer is actually watching this. But if, you, if you're a mod developer, regardless of mod, just I want to say thank you for your contribution to the hundreds of hours of time and effort you've put in to making some, some great work. It just so much fun to play these things and and it's 
basically all free. Just it's awesome. One of the best communities out there. It has this has to be for Hoi Four. It's been a, actually for me though. It's been a long time since I even touched Kaiserreich. I've been playing so much Old World Blues and just playing around with each faction like crazy. Just I kind of forgot that Kaiserreich even existed. Oh, ooh, Tarwalkers, thank you. Ooh, Sorrows, thank you. 1.371, 3.71 political power day. Just delicious. Uh, you guys, uh, actually, you guys up here, that's, that's pretty okay. It does take quite a while to get rid of Kaiser's Legion, so. Uh, this will probably, this will go over half an hour, but probably, honestly, not much longer after that, because if we have the Phoenix Republic rise up against us, I might just crush them. Actually, I might not just, I might not crush them, just because I've, we've, we've done that before, and I don't really need to do that again, so. Uh, let's see, just keep adding more people to us. I annex the Sorrows, very nice, so that the Tarwalkers and the Sorrows stop killing each other. Because, why kill each other when you can both be under me? Uh, y'all. Come down here. Yeah, we haven't had any naval battles. What happened to Kaisar's ship? They had... They still have all their ships. Huh. Uh, this is just brutal. How much more do we have to take? Kaiser's Legion, there's just so much land you have to take. You basically have to take out everything regarding Kaiser's Legion. But honestly, it's not bad. It's pretty fun. Our casualties, 7,000 basically to almost 300,000. I think we've got a pretty good casualty ratio going here. So, not gonna lie. 6,000 to 7,000 really to 600,000. That's pretty decent. That's pretty darn decent, not gonna lie. As we're just... Just... Ooh! Armed slaves. Not... Holy crap! We've killed so many of Khazar's legion... Legendaries and... Military divisions. That they're left with nine divisions in total. They started with at least 140. I'm sure they started with probably more like 200. But, oh my god! It's just so much destruction. Oh, I need explosive equipment. Oh, we actually could use dynamite finally. For our militia guys. Yeah, but we got a lot of metal now. A lot of electricity. We still need some more electronics and advanced technology. And there we go. Kaiser's Legion is ours. Right now, let's go ahead and take all the land possible. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that lag. Great. It's 2288. We have taken out the last vestiges of the Legion. Ooh, do this, do that. And I'm sure we'll get an event about the Phoenix Republic rising up. But maybe we will, maybe we won't. Maybe it takes a few days for that to happen. Ooh, the reservation. Why, why do we need slaves? The Secret Service took out the Gatling guns during the reservation with a few fat men and overran the facility with minimal enclave casualties and its secrets were revealed when we stormed a room labeled the Green Chamber. The vast contained humans with bloated stomachs and was dead silent, save for the baby's cry. Somehow the ghouls had created a ghoul baby. One of the ghouls claimed that these tests would ensure a future for ghouls with additional refinement, but most find using humans as brood mares to be horrific. Some of the ghouls pleaded for us to spare their youth and claimed that they could reproduce on their own. We'll strip the facility, obviously, but what do we do with these filthy ghoul kids? Kill the monsters. I guess spare the children. We could raise ghouls to be loyal to the Enclave, huh? Well, I'm trying to be mostly democratic without free press. I guess I'll spare the children this time. Next time I won't. But right now, we're just going to see if there's any sort of event regarding the liberation of Kaisar's land. Sponsor a railway. If there's nothing here, and no one really has any... Ab Oh, we remember America. In the darkest hour before his election, Granite asked, Is there anything left? Anything that still carries America's voice? The president's decision to save Flagstaff demonstrated his faith that the answer was yes. America did need nukes. It needed the, it needed the slaves who deserted, deserted in the dark of night. The followers who spread their teachings in the land of the Midwest Brotherhood. And the Minutemen who held the line against the Institute. Granite was a flawed man, and he made many, many mistakes. But he turned the enclave into a bridge between the old and new world. He brought the reunited states together. Thanks to him, there would be men and women who wore his flag proudly at Hoover Dam, at the Second Alamo, and even the Capitol Wasteland. Men and women who walked out of and into a history deeper than they knew. The men and women of America, God bless the god dang enclave. Whew, that sounds great. And I guess that pretty much wraps it up for us. This was our last episode here. Cool. Um, so yeah. 
Uh, thoughts overall? This mod is really fun. Old World Blues, especially with Enclave Reborn mod. Would 10 out of 10 recommend it. Um, other than that, I guess we have no rebellion from taking all of Khazar's land. The United States looks pretty good. Obviously, time will be needed to record everything. End of Legion Guerrillas with Legion's Collapse Guerrilla raids on American forces come to an end. On to Chicago. Nice. Which eventually will get more and more developed as time goes on. But something tells me Chicago is not named Diego Garcia. But regardless, guys, I don't know what I'm playing yet tomorrow. We've just developed nuclear, nuclear reactors. But anyways, I will come up with something interesting, different faction to probably play as for you guys tomorrow. And have to end up making like 50 different thumbnails again. So, hey, anyways, it's a lot of fun. Guys, thank you very much for watching this entire campaign. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow in the wasteland, but playing as someone else. Thanks for watching.